Hi guys, and Merry Christmas. Hello. It is so close to Christmas right now. Mike even has a yeah, flashing just Christmas be warm jumper on. If you have flashing light issues, that this is going to be quite flashy. <laughs> and they're the smallest flashing lights in the world. It's amazing. Um, just to point out, you may be kind of Christmassy, but I think you deserve a bit of a present. So now I am sufficiently festive. It is so close to Christmas right now, so today we thought we would do one of Mike's specialities, yeah. his festive ham. We're going to start with this ham that we've left to soak overnight. It's Why? Soaked because you're going to remove some of like the fatty, salty sort of issues. Nest. Nest okay. of it. So we're going to drain off this water and then we're going to put this in the pan. This just needs Enhanced. dicing, so just like probably into six. Okay. Everything goes into the pan and gets brought to the boil. So remove the lid. You want these we in get there? not yet. No. We get our ham. We now pour the whole apple juice in. Fill it, and then we're going to top the rest oh. up with water, so it's halfway up the joint. Can you do all apple juice? I've never tried all apple juice, but <laughs> I'm, you know, I think it'd work. Some thyme. Rosemary as well. Uh, no, not putting rosemary in this one. A couple of sticks of thyme. Sprigs. Sprigs are going in. A bay leaf. And last but least, some cinnamon. Last but least, you don't like cinnamon. You meant to say last but not least. <laughs> so now we're going to bring this to the boil, stick in the oven, and it's time to chill and sing some festive tunes. Yeah. The moment of truth. Yeah, it's done. It I think smells. Amazing. I think this is going to be great. It's my favourite part of Christmas. Have you always had Christmas ham at Christmas? Uh, no, always, no. Uh, we used to have a little bit, but with your mum introduced me to this recipe. My mum is the queen of Christmas ham. There is our ham. I'm going to get the stock. So we need about 600 ml. Now the great thing with this stock is you could also do exactly the same, remove all the items inside, get a bag of peas, whack it in there, cook it, blend it, add some in ham. ham soup. In ham soup. We're going to remove the skin. So first you've got to get rid of the string. Take that away. Now be careful, use a sharp knife. And you just go underneath it gently. You just want it to remove it. You want it to leave a bit of fat on. Yeah, the fat's what goes all yummy and crispy, isn't it? Yeah, so you don't want to remove it all. Just gently. There you go. Right, it's time to score. So first we're going to get little edges and you're going to do diagonal cuts just in the meat. And when I was a kid, I was always allowed to open one present. You keep claiming this every year. I was! And it's one a load present. of rubbish. It's not rubbish. I used to go and wake my brother up and he would ban me from waking him up before 7.30. So I sat outside his room with my pillow and my alarm clock, sitting, waiting, staring at the time. You are ridiculous. Right, <laughs> I'm going to add some clothes in. Well, you can, can help with this bit? bit. There's your clothes. There's a good batch. Thanks. In between every corner. If you can. We're going to get the marmalade, and this is going to glaze over the top of the ham. If you want it really sweet, then just do it just marmalade, but I think it might add a little bit of colour and be a little bit of spice into it, just make it something a little different. Okay, so this is now ready to go in the oven. We'll leave it for about 25 minutes, half an hour. It's basically eyeball it to its golden brown because it's cooked, it's just a matter of just browning it off now. So, so basically, cooking ham is really easy. It's just a waiting game. Yep, it's all a waiting game. So, you're making a sauce, A sauce, apparently. yeah, this is a Sainsbury's recipe sauce. So we're now going to incorporate that with our Christmas ham. So we're going to get the butter, then we will add the flour, stir the flour. And make a room. Mike once literally had the biggest paddy when we were out shopping because he bought a ham sandwich and it had mustard mayo in it. So, so I now wasn't expecting it, so we I wasn't have happy. our own private joke of whenever Mike is in a stress, we call it a ham sandwich. What? Like, oh, Mike's having a ham sandwich. Oh. And it stuck. Like that this could much? be by the way you're pouring. And then we will gradually add the stock. Go, Mike, go with the whiskey. I'm trying. You're getting it everywhere. So while Mike is whisking away like a maniac, I'm going to add a teaspoon of English mustard. Black pepper. Black pepper, seasoning, please. That'll do, pig. Well, we just got to wait for this to thicken up, and we're there. Look at that. Check that it out. It looks really good, Mike. Well done. Starving now. 
dark, it's getting juicier as well as you go further yeah, because in. because we're going underneath the skin, we just started on like the edge. Yeah, so where it was a bit flat. Can we eat some? Can we eat some? Oh man, this looks so good. Mm. That is a great ham. That is amazing. I am very impressed. That is it for this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you did, because we have a brand new recipe every single Wednesday. This is our last video before Christmas, so we hope you have an amazing Christmas time. But make sure you come back next week because we have a special guest. Barry from My Virgin Kitchen is going to be here in our kitchen with us cooking something secret supersized. Mm. And if you haven't already seen our party food and our edible gift videos, then click either one of these and we will see you again next week. Bye guys, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.